Humplick, the co-host of the show, works at the phone company. And he hasn't made it to the last three shows. We've been bringing him in via satellite for the last three weeks. I think we actually have a look at the scene. We have this big elaborate dummy that we made, and you can see how realistic and lifelike it looked. And we have a very special treat for you tonight. Like, uh, I'd like to ask everyone in the audience to stand up and welcome Mr. Glenn Humplick! show, Glenn. Thanks, I know you Bob. have an important job at the phone company. <laughs> but look at the fans, Glenn. They love you. Yeah. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Sit down. Oh. I have something I want to show you. Wow. Feel free to indulge in some fresh grapes. Oh, sure. No we want to make you feel good, Glenn. Mmm. Mmm. Good? Taste some of the grapes. I know you like the way they taste. Glenn is important, right? Yeah. Glenn is important. Glenn is important. Uh. Glenn is important. Glenn is important. Wait. Wait. There we go. Oh my God. It's the ratings hotline. Hello? The, the ratings, they're in. What's that? Uh, uh huh. Because Glenn's back. have gone back up because of you, Glenn. Here. Glenn is important. 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 In today's day and age with debit cards and credit cards and all this crap, fewer and fewer people are paying with cash. I'm buying a watch band today with a $100 bill. <coughs> <laughs> I should just pay with something smaller, since it's only five dollars. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Probably just pay with this. How much are these uh, pewter keychains? Uh, Three ninety nine. I guess I'd like to buy one with a little pussy on it. Do you have collies, boxers, spaniels, great danes, pointers? I'll just take my change here. There we go. That's about fair. You've got huskies, dobermans, iris setters, afghans, pekinese, pointers. Okay, which one do you want? I want the pussy. Okay? Thank you, okay? Thanks, thanks very much. I'll pay with the... $100 bill. I can't pay with this, or? You can, but I don't have change of it. If That's you want, you can go next door to the luncheonette and see if he'll change it for you. I was wondering if I could get some uh, change made up. I'm uh, buying a, some <laughs> next door. Uh, like a I just need like a $5 bill. Would be good. Hey, you're making a mess. What's that? What are you doing? Uh, I just was hoping maybe you could give me a $5 bill so I could go next door and buy the pussy keychain. Clean it up. Okay. Clean it up, get out of here. Okay. Five minutes you have. We're doing a piece about money and stuff. Put your f***ing camera. Oh, we break that thing. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, I went next door to try to get some change made. I tried to get them... I tried to get them to make me a five, but they wouldn't give the change. What, what did you just do here? You don't come in here and dump a ton of pennies on the thing and say, I want to pay with that there. A thing like that, that shows no intelligence at all. I'm so stupid. Don't hit your give me that stuff. I'm so stupid, I'm so stupid, I'm stupid. I just wanted the pussy keychain. Take the pussy keychain and goodbye. I just wanted the pussy keychain. Just take the key thing, will you? Have a good day, folks. Don't forget your pennies here. <laughs>
We're back here. You know, Glenn, over the last few weeks, I've felt our lives drifting further and further apart. No, they haven't. No? Uh, <laughs> they have been, and I, uh, I'm glad that you're here with me now. I want to savor every moment that we're here together and learn as much as I possibly can about you. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of questions I would like to ask you. No problem. Go ahead. Glenn, are you still a virgin? <laughs> uh, uh, no, no. Are you a homosexual? No, no. No, seriously, Glenn, are you a homosexual? I, um, I live with Catherine, as uh, you know. But we have for come six on, years. Come on, Glenn, come on. Uh, no. I've known you for a long time. You've been my best friend for a long time, and I've been wanting to know all this time whether or not you were a virgin Sorry. or whether or no. not you were homosexual. Oh. I know uh, you're going to be evasive and, and, that's, and uh, that's fine. elude the question right now, no, but okay. we have that's produced a, a new question. segment where we have had a little chat with your parents about you. Oh. And the segment is called Chatting with Glenn's Parents. <laughs> Do you think Glenn has lost his virginity? <laughs> well, I haven't seen him in the act, so I can't say. <laughs> was there any point that you thought Glenn was gay? Never. Never. <laughs> no. Was there any point where you suspected that perhaps he may be gay? No, never. <laughs> oh. Tell the television watchers, tell the television viewers what you think of your son passionately kissing me on television. Tell them. Well, since he's not a gay person, he is, you know, has a nice girlfriend. I didn't think it was nice to do that to her. You're an ass. <laughs> Back in a minute with Lake and Pat. <laughs> Glenn Humble here. <laughs> Glenn Humble here. Glenn, you're a pretty big guy, aren't you? Uh, well, <laughs> you're all Mr. <laughs> Tough Guy. No, no, not, not at all. Mr. At Tough all. Guy. No, no. Mr. Schoolyard Bully. No, you no. were a schoolyard bully, weren't no, you? I wasn't. No, I wasn't. You'd walk around the schoolyard all, shut your face! <laughs> you know? No, no. no. I'm gonna I'm shut gonna... your face! No. You know? No. Mr. Kick a roast beef sandwich out of my hand when I was 19! <laughs> you know, I can be tough too, Glenn. I can be tough. Oh, I know. I can be I Mr. Tough Guy, Mr. Tuffy, Tuff, Tuffy. I can be tough. I'm a tough guy. I'm a tough guy just like Glenn. I'm tough. I'm tough. I'm tough, tough. just like Glenn. You're a tough guy. I can be a tough guy. You toughy. Tough. Who's tough? I'm tough. I'm tough. Glenn's tough. Glenn's tough. Glenn's tough. I'm tough. I'm tough. I'm tough. I'm tough. I am. I am. I like flute music and young girls and freshwater lakes. I'm serious. Flute music? I'm serious. Check this out. <laughs> this here is a board where people in the area post things, odd jobs, etc. Hi, my name is Kerry Carnahan, and I am trying to raise the money to go on tour with my choir this summer. Kerry Carnahan plays her flute for $10 an hour. Hi, how are you? Are you Kerry? Yeah. Oh, okay, we're, gonna, we're doing the flute thing today. We saw your ad. I left a message for you. Yeah? Oh my gosh, what is this? Okay. Excuse me. Um... What's that? Ah, uh, nervous breakdown here? I have to get my wetsuit fitted. I'm going to be swimming across Lake Washington tomorrow. And while I'm doing that, I think I could use some flute playing. So let's go get the flute. Where is it? It's right there. Okay, let's go. we got to go quick. Play the play away. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Five bucks if you never laugh like that again for the rest of the day. I'm swimming all the way across Lake Washington tomorrow, so I just want to make sure I have a good wetsuit. You would probably be like a large tall. You have a large tall? No. Oh. I have these clothes right here. Sure. Oh, yeah. 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 This is good. <laughs> Seriously. How much is it going to take to shut you up? 107.7 The Ends, Bill Reed, live in the studio with Tom Green. I'm swimming across Lake Washington tomorrow, Bill. I'm going to kick the lake's ass. How long do you expect this will take? People said that I couldn't do it.
They said no one ever fly an airplane in the sky, and Wright Brothers came along, flew an airplane in the sky. Said no one ever fly around the world, and Lucky Lindbergh came along, flew around the world. My mom didn't think I'd be able to make it. Tomorrow my mom's gonna know that I'm good. I'm a good boy. Good luck tomorrow. Daddy said I'd never amount to nothing. Well, how's the first guy to swim across Lake Washington sound to you? Huh? Just stop here. Just gonna stop here for a second so everyone's perfectly clear on what we're talking about. This is Lake Washington in Seattle, and and the plan was to get in the water here and to swim, 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 swim over to here. Okay? Okay. That's two miles, Glenn. Two miles. Yeah, because I'm really tough. <laughs> wow. Cool. Well, tough guy. I'm standing in front of Lake Washington right now. I'm about to swim across this lake. We're about to hold a press conference just down the park here. And apparently CNN has showed up, NBC, ESPN, ABC. This woman has showed up right here. See that woman? She showed up. This is Cairo 7 Eyewitness News. He's known for his wacky personality on MTV. An MTV host boldly goes where few men have gone before, all for the sake of comedy. Um, my name is Tom Green. I'm a swimmer. I'm skinny, and I'm fast, and my body is made of 80% water. <laughs> my brain tells me that if I'm 80% water, that really only 20% of me is going to have to swim. The rest just mixes in with the water. I understand Bill Gates lives on this lake somewhere. And he may have 50 billion dollars. But Bill Gates doesn't have the balls to swim across Lake Washington. And I do have the balls. And balls aren't for sale. Do you hear me, Bill? The balls aren't for sale. I see an ambulance over there. You might as well take that and drive it back to the hospital to somebody who needs it. Ambulances are for losers! And I'm a winner, man! After the Chicago Bulls won the NBA championship, did you see them driving around in ambulances? No! Because they're winners! I bet you a lot of you are hoping that I drown out there today so that you'll see something cool on the news. Ha, ha, ha! He's dead! Ha, ha! Come to Seattle, conquer our lake. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, look at the guy. Oh, look at him pulling the body out of the water. Ha, ha, ha. Well, I'm not going to die today. Marisha Carey, come out here and play the flute. Don't talk, just play. I'd like to just uh, answer any questions that there are. Lisa Myers from Q13 reports at 10. Yes. Mr. Green, I'm wondering what you'll do if you get too tired to make it to the other side. Clearly, Lisa wasn't listening to the speech today. <laughs> there is absolutely no chance, Lisa, that this man is going to get too tired. Are you planning to drown, sir? Lisa has asked if I'm planning to drown. <laughs> do you have wax in your ears, Lisa? I just talked for 15 minutes about how I'm swimming across the lake. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. This new music host, Tom Green, is pulling off another stunt. Green's trying to swim across the cold, choppy lake. We'll let you know if the MTV star pulls it off. If I can see it, can I see the boat followed Green on his journey from Magnuson Park to Marina Park in Kirkland. I
No man has ever swum across Lake Washington in the history of Lake Washington until today. I kicked Lake Washington back! I'm only uh, 18 years old. You're only 18 years old, and you have, in fact, swam this lake before, am I right? Yeah, we do it uh, every year, actually, over at my beach. Club. Every year. All the 10-year-olds and 11-year-olds used to do it a long time. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good swim. Coming up next on the 10 spot. You know, I was on the internet last week. Have you heard of the internet, Glenn? Yeah, I have. Mm, you've heard of the internet. Yeah. You sure have, haven't you? Yes, I have. Have you ever sold anything on the internet, Glenn? <laughs> on a site called eBay? Oh. Uh, well, I go on the internet oh. one day and oh. I find out that Glenn's selling his dirty underwear on the oh. internet. Oh. They even printed out the... There he is, on eBay. Remember? Oh. Let's show everyone. Yeah. There he is, oh. selling his green undie pants. <laughs> First of all. And Phil's laughing away, but Phil, <laughs> Phil did the same thing. Exactly. Uh, and the people at home think that this is all a joke, that this is just a little skit for the show, but this joke. really happened. Oh. You guys did this on your own to yes, make money. Did. And that's crazy. <laughs> you think you're a sex symbol? <laughs> Shut up! I'm drinking one night. He came out with the idea. Your ego is out of control. No, no. You've mm. ripped off one of your oh. fans. Oh. And guess what, Glenn? Yeah, I know. I can just imagine. <laughs> We actually oh. tracked down the fan who bought it. Her email address was posted. We tracked her down, and we're going to bring her out. Oh. The person you took advantage of. Come on out, Sarah. Stand right here. Stand right here. Oh, God. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, we're going to talk to the person. Talk. Will you shut up? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sarah, you bought Glenn's undies for $84. Yes, I did. So you're a weirdo. <laughs> you're a weirdo. Maybe a little bit. I'm just joking. You're not a weirdo. And uh, in fact, it's your lucky day. Glenn, I don't know if you recognize this. Oh, uh, for... <laughs> <laughs> we went to Glenn's... No. No, 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 no. We went to Glenn's... No. $84 for a pair of undies is not fair, Glenn. No. So we went to Glenn's hotel room today <laughs> and got Sarah a few more gifts. Uh, here you go, $84. I'm smelling your undies, Glenn. I'm smelling your undies. You smell, I know. Oh, some of his telephone company pants. Oh. There we go. Oh. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, maybe that'll okay, wait a minute. I didn't even wear that until tomorrow. Okay, well, that's not bad, Sarah. Here, just take the whole thing. Okay? Oh, no, no, Thanks no. for coming on the show. Let's have answers, Sarah. VCRs, compact discs, the microwave oven. All of these tools are things that make our lives easier, but... Oh, boy, look at this. Jeez, it seems we have a sick cat here. Guys, what do you say we do the technology piece a little later? Um, I think we should take care of the sick cat. Don't worry about it, buddy. Oh, in case the hair came off the tail. The hair came off the tail. There's a bone there. Damn it. Nothing worse when the hair comes off the tail. Come on. I'm just going to have to bring him to the animal hospital and see if we can do something for this little fella. We were doing another story for our show. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look it's been that. long enough to be smelling. Oh, jeez. Maybe it's OK, actually. Uh, oh, it's, oh, jeez. It's well, eyes out. Looks like somebody's really trimmed his tail, too. Uh-huh, yeah. Is there something you guys can do about this, or? I don't no, think so. He's, he's over dead, then. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, you get attached to him quick, don't you? He looked like this when we found him. Yeah. Sure, there's nothing. Uh, 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 do you own a microwave oven or yeah. VCR? Yeah. Compact disc. The way it's going. Don't have one. It's the digital, the digital sound. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime. I've, I've just got to go clear my thoughts. <laughs>
Don't worry, Glenn. I know Glenn's a cat lover and he's worried, but he was acting. The cat was acting, okay? In fact, I have the real cat right here. Good job. No need to worry. It was just an acting cat. A good little puppy. Good night, everybody. Come to mommy. <laughs> How'd we get in the room? Yeah. You know, earlier today when you went out in the Superman costume? Yeah. We said we wanted to shoot a segment uh. with you in a funny costume. Uh. See, we figured if you oh. put on a tight costume, you'd take your pants off and your wallet with the key in it. Mm. Mm. It was a cool costume, though. Did you have fun running around town oh. today pretending you were being a TV star? Idiot. <laughs> Came back all proud. It's not that hard to do. It's not that hard to do. Not that hard to do. Not that hard to do. <laughs> running around for three hours interviewing people. Hi, I'm making a TV show. Oh. Hi, I'm... Hi there, I'm making a TV show. Hello, hi, hi. Oh. Show.